I heard a rumor that you were supposed to actually be hosting that show. What show? The show that Boosie was at. And then I heard that another L.A. rapper got booked to perform at the show, and all of a sudden, Crip Mac's name was not on the flyer anymore. Now, they, they f***ed me over many times doing concerts out here. I get f***ed over a lot. So what happened in this specific case? I don't know. Probably some other from another set. It's always like that out here. So you don't actually know who, who stepped in between you? No, you got to tell me if you know. Well, I heard it was a rapper by the name of YG. No, that was another show. That was with uh, Oh, yeah, Pax. it was a different show. Okay, you're right. Yeah, right. that did happen, though. And, um, yeah, it's just, just some f He's like, oh, I don't think this is... He told people, I don't think it's good. He don't like me and this and that. I ain't never had a problem with this Because you ran into him at the same show with Blueface. Right. I ain't never said nothing bad about him. Right. Never. So where do you think that came from? Uh, the, the, the Charlie Wally's clickbait the whole Really? You think he got, yeah. he got fooled? I mean, how you get fooled? But I feel like you did this him a long time ago, didn't you? No, not Kill. I'm just searching. Crip Mac YG. And you're just Kill. No, I guess maybe you're right. I don't see it. No, Blueface. I just Kill a few years ago. That was it. I didn't just YG. I don't think I did. Okay. Are you, are you for YG music? I'm a Crip. I like Crip music. But I like the party beats, you yeah. know? But what yeah. about DJ Mustard? Yeah, DJ Mustard. He helped uh, T-Fly get far in life, DJ Mustard. Yeah. Would you do a song? Would you, would you do a song with any blood rappers though? Yeah, most definitely. Because you have good relationships with some of them, right? Yeah, Keita Rue from oh, Tree Top. That's why I just uh, me and Keita Rue, we cool. We, uh -huh. we got some stuff we get ready to do. Keita Rue. Yep. Yep. I'm with some some Damu artists. Okay, but let's say, yeah. think of it from YG's perspective. Let's say you had a big show coming up, and they say, "Oh, here's this dude that." Crip Mac doesn't get along with and he's hosting it, would you do the same thing? Would you say, hey, like, I don't want this dude hosting the event because I it's going to be problems. get along. I never said nothing bad about this mother. Well, apparently he's not a huge fan of you, so, I mean. <laughs> a lot of bloods ain't. <laughs> I feel like, yeah. Only some are. Right. You know. But you thought it was all good with YG, but it turned yeah. out maybe not. Yeah. Thought it was cool, you, you know. Right. It happens. There's another uh, L.A. rapper coming out, making a lot of noise. His first interview is doing crazy numbers. Well, not his first interview because uh, Street News got him first, but or Street TV. But they uh, X4. Right. He's popping off. People are f***ing with it. They're saying right. he might be the next big artist out of L.A. Yeah. How you feel about him? He, he might. He might. He might. He might. Definitely. It's some great, great music. It's some great content. Uh, some great music. So you're feeling the energy. I like I like I like how he raps. My uh, my little homie uh, Blue that with Lil HK Destruction. He listens to X Fo. He knows X Fo. Okay. Personally. Uh huh. You know them about them about the same age probably. Yeah. And I mean I noticed that uh, he's got the HK on the side of his face. Right. So you guys are kind of similar in that regard, even though you got it written out. Yeah, it's the same thing. A lot. Of, see, people got to realize a lot of gang bangers out there got hoods blown out on their face. Right. Yeah. Yours is just kind of more. It's just there. Yeah. It's more blatant because you don't have to know what it stands for. <laughs> yeah, it's just there. Yeah. Right, but you, you're feeling. Uh, would you Would you do a song with him? Uh, if time comes, if I do it, you know. If it made sense. Yeah, if it made sense. Yeah. He identifies as a thirsty crip. Huh? He's a thirsty crip. He said. He's a thirsty crip. Yeah. Well, he's from Fodies. Yeah, he's, I know where Kev from. He's a thirsty crip. He's a thirsty crip. Isn't he managed by Christopher Lovejoy? Uh, honestly, I like Christopher Lovejoy. Kind of says he's managing him, but then when I interviewed him, he didn't mention all anyone. Clickbait and oh, clout. Oh, that's why you don't fuck with him. Okay, he clickbaits and clout every thing. Mm -hmm. You remember? Yeah, we did a skit. Yeah, yeah. He just, he just, but everything else is just clickbait. So let me read between the lines. You are feeling the X Four wave, but you can't like wholeheartedly co-sign him because of your issues with Christopher Lovejoy. Even though we are not one hundred percent sure. I didn't sure plan on doing a song with X Four. I just said my little homie Blue Devil Lou for Killer Destruction knows cut. That's okay. all I said. What's your definition of a thirsty crip? Thirsty crip is somebody that's gonna go out and get their increments. However they get their increments, they're gonna do what they do to get it. That's thirsty. You know they they with it. They thirsty. You know, thirsty yeah. for money is is the first thing that your brain goes. Thirsty through. with the well, yeah, getting increments and thirsty with the gang banging shit. Okay. Yeah. Did you see the clip where I asked him about a video of him shooting shit and he just went silent? 
I ain't watch it. You want to see it? You can tell me about it. I didn't see it. Well, yet. it's basically me asking a question and then him. Okay, yeah, can't say nothing. That's great. You shouldn't ask questions like that, Adam. It's a long, awkward silence. Well, it might not have been you. I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't think it was me. Okay. But that wasn't related to any of the cases that you caught? <laughs> yeah, he don't want you asking him questions. Was that OD? You're asking Vlad questions now. I'm not going to lie. That was kind of... Vlad shit. I'm not going to say scripted, but this was the second time that we did the interview, and we... Discussed it a little bit. Yeah, beforehand. I like I like exposed music though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we need more. We need more LA dudes from the streets who are making LA's culture look good. Because would you agree that LA is kind of taking a backseat to other cities like Atlanta and Chicago in terms of? No, hell no. Why would you say that? I feel like the music's more popular. The artists are bigger. And us. Uh, in Chicago and Atlanta, huh? Well, they definitely, I mean, it's at, more universal. Uh, LA just the sound isn't. Is music big. wise, Atlanta is way bigger. Street wise, it feels like people talk about Chicago a lot more. Right. And it feels like a lot of LA artists might be kind of jacking Chicago slang and stuff. I watch interviews and see a fucking 50 year old dude from LA talking about his ops. What? What? Um, You know, the, <laughs> the, the word op has really like permeated like every city in America, don't you think? It means opposition. Right. But the opposite motherfucker. Chicago invention right there. Oh, is that what it is? I mean, LA is talking about enemies, enemigos. Yeah. Yeah. Do you use the op language or no? Well, I told you when me and ODM Slim put together the op goblin. They oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Do you look at yourself as an op? <laughs> so why are you and ODM Slim not doing music no more? Go to him do his own thing, cuz. I got a lot of shit I got to worry about. You know? Yeah. I talk with cuz. He hit me up sometimes. I make sure cuz. All right, I fuck with cuz. Oh, that's the homie. You know, I got a lot of shit I'm doing. Yeah. You know? So a lot of, you, can't, you, can't, you can't do shit everywhere. It's like, it's five months. 